Okay. Board Royal Princesses Retreat Pool and Bar. This is uh, their adults only pool. And from what I've seen, they do a pretty good job of. Uh, I haven't seen any kids back here. So they do a good, pretty good job of keeping it to adults only. And it's the second pool on board. I'm going to go over here, see if I can get a break from the wind if I stand underneath the bar. Jacuzzi. Bar section. The sanctuary is um, just an indoor area at the very front of the ship with, uh, you know, beautiful views of the ship, but they charge you like $40 a day to rent a lounge chair in there, $20 for half a day, and um, $200 a day for a cabana. I think they'll let me just take a quick video peek in here. So you obviously have to sign in with your key card and morning. Can I just do a quick video. Coming around. So you can see these are the lounge chairs. Nice and peaceful and quiet. They serve you afternoon tea here. You got your cabanas. I think. I'm not sure, but these cabanas, I'm not sure. If they come with alcohol, well, you probably have to order it. But uh, see the beautiful wraparound views? And I just think it's like, you know, nickel and diming. This is probably something they did in the remodel six or seven years ago. You know, when they refreshed the ship. Royal Caribbean has their forward area in the same location, and it's stunning, and it's got a bar and multi-terrace swimming pools that go down to big jacuzzis. That's on the Oasis class, and obviously it's everybody's favorite part of the ship because you can sit here in the morning and watch the sun come up, and of course, Princess Cruise Line is going to charge you $40 a day to sit in here, just like their... Uh, Tranquility Spa area where they're going to charge you $150 for the cruise and you can only get it for the whole cruise. You can't get a day pass for their Tranquility Spa. And that's the only way, place you can find steam rooms and hydro pools, you know, like a wet and dry sauna. And even if you get a massage treatment, you can't use it. You have to pay the $150 fee for the entire cruise. Per person, obviously, not per cabin. Anyway, this is my little rant about why Royal Caribbean is my favorite cruise line and Princess is not. A couple other things as well, but anyway, there you go. Looks like uh, that, that's a shower right there, so you do have the option to have your little private shower. And... People do take advantage of it. They come in here and sit, so. That's it. Heading back out to the adult pool area. And I'll pause it. All right, leaving that sanctuary area. Coming down here is a bar. And yeah, it's better. Wanted to get out of the wind and shoot it from this side. Because it, it is howling down here. As you can see, it's a. Uh, Coming up on almost 8 o'clock and nobody's out here yet. It's a little chilly. Wind is blowing. But uh, got jacuzzi there. Main swimming pool. Got Lucas. What's up, my brother? <laughs> From Goa, India. Good family man. Cool dude. And that's it. That's an upper upper deck area. Lucas, how many years have you been working on the boats? All, all together. Huh? 18 years working on the ships. He's got a 12-year-old daughter? 12-year-old daughter in Goa? And a wife. And they have the option to fly him out here and stay on the ship. 
but it's a long way. He does that when he's over on in Asia cruising around. It's interesting, you know, 18 years working on the ships. It's a good stretch. Still a young man, too. All right, that's your adult pool. That's what it looks like. Signing off and see you guys later.